Hello there! Would you like to learn how to set up and launch a reinforcement learning example in just a few minutes? Then stay with me. This video is for you! Hello Ross developers and welcome to a new video of the Ross questions and answers video series. In the video of today, we are going to be talking about this question I found in the ROS Answers Forum, which says, OpenAI ROS example Shadow TC uh, RL, which goes for reinforcement learning, don't work. And he's very sad about it, as you can see here in this sad face emoji. <laughs> so, okay, he basically says, Hi, I tried to run the reinforcement learning examples of the OpenAI ROS example package. I want to run the Shadow TC simulation, but it shows me this error after following code. So basically, we can see here that he is executing this command, this ROS launch command. And uh, then here in the log, we might see, let's click here in more to see it complete. We might see an error here. So here we have it. Yeah, this is the definite, the final error. So it says, init got an unexpected keyword argument, init wrote ROS note. Yeah, so this is the error that he is getting from this command. So basically what we are going to do is, as always, in ROSDS, we are going to create a ROSject where we are going to reproduce this and try to fix it. Yeah, so we need to first reproduce this error and then later try to fix it. Yeah, so for the first thing I need to do is to obviously create a ROSJet here. So I'm going to create a new ROSJet in ROSDS, which I'm going to call open AI QA. Well, AI QA. There we go. And uh, create. I'm going to create it I, and I am going to uh, launch it to start it. So let me click here in the open project. And meanwhile, this starts loading. My project starts opening. What I need to do is to first of all find this code. So he says this OpenAI ROS example. I don't know if this exists. Let me check here. OpenAI ROS example. Uh, no. So this is taking us to the OpenAI ROS wiki, which are the packages that we have developed for OpenAI with what he's using. He's using another code. So as you can see, yeah, this is the OpenAI ROS uh, wiki page. But it's not this, so let's go for the... Let me try to find here the, this package, for instance, the one he's using in the command. My shadow TC OpenAI examples. So let's try to find this one. My shadow TC OpenAI example. Yeah, so here we have it. Excellent. Okay, so here I have my packages, which let me have a look here. What this is. Okay, so this is from this this stand, yeah, and uh, here I have the packages I'm interested in. Let me see the readme. Okay, so he says, come from the construct, but modify by me to add a robot. All right, so he has basically taken our OpenAI ROS packages and he has created here some uh, customizations, yeah. So, all right, so he says prerequisite depend of OpenAI from this stand. Okay, so we are going to need also this other repository. And when we have, we need to clone this OpenAI ROS here and as well the OpenAI uh, example projects, these two. And then we need to compile them and source the workspace. So pretty easy and straightforward. And then finally we, we can run our commands, yeah? So we need to clone these two repositories into our project, this one and this one, compile, and then we are going to be able to uh, launch the commands. All right, so let's come here to our project, which has already opened it. Excellent. Then here I'm going to open, as always, a shell, first of all, and I'm going to open an IDE as well, so that I can visualize my files. There we go. And then, I'm going to start here cloning, first of all, the OpenAI ROS examples. So let me come here and to the Kaking workspace, git clone. There we go. And 
I'm going to need as well this one, so let me come here and clone it as well, git clone, there we go. Excellent, so now I need to come here, do a catkin make in my workspace, and then I'm going to be able to uh, run, to launch this command here. So here in the ID, I'm going to be able to visualize my files. Here in the catkin workspace, you can see the two packages I have just cloned, opening example projects and open AI ROS. Excellent. All right, so this is uh, finishing compiling, there it's going. Let's wait a second. Okay, there we have it. Then I'm going to source my workspace, and now I'm ready to execute this command. So, ROS launch, let me come here and copy it. I'm going to paste it here, and let's see what we get here. All right, so this is starting to execute. All right. Here we are getting the failure to import PyASIM, which is normal. It shouldn't, this, this isn't the problem, I can tell. Package found in, but not in the, okay, so now, all right. Yeah, so now basically what it has done is, it has downloaded the simulation, yeah? Because we have downloaded these two, repositories, but which contain the OpenAI ROS part, let's say, but we need the simulations as well, because these trainings are based on Gazebo simulations, so this, basically, what has done is here in my simulation workspace, it has downloaded the shadow simulation, yeah? So, because, because I have started this command, the my shadow TC OpenAI example, I need the shadow simulation, yeah? So, what this has done is to download this shadow simulation here into my simulation workspace automatically, yeah? Then, what I need to do now is to follow these instructions here, which basically are to combine my workspace, so I'm going to do this. CD home user, simulation workspace, catkin make, and then I'm going to source my workspace so that I can now use, launch this simulation here in my project, this Gazebo simulation, which uh, you are going to see in a moment when we have this uh, working. So let's wait until this compiles. There we go. Let's source our workspace and let's launch again our command. So ROS launch, my show TC OpenAI. There we go. Let's see how this goes now. Okay, yes, yeah, so now, as you can see, it's starting Gazebo, so it's launching the Gazebo simulation. Let's open here a Gazebo display, so that we can see this better. Let me move this down here as well. And to put it here, and the simulation, okay, I'm starting to see some errors, I think, there. I'm going to go back to there. All right, so, okay, so here it seems like this is crashed, yeah? Let me check here the log. Hmm. Let me go back down. Process has died. Okay, so Gazebo has died there. Yeah, so there my simulation is starting. Okay, so this it looks like it keeps going. Let's see. All right, and here we have it. Yeah, so now it has crashed it again. Okay, 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 great. Okay. So it started the simulation, but then it has died. And we can see here in the log, we can see basically the error that he's saying, yeah? So here we have it, type error, init, got an unexpected keyword argument, init, ROS note, yeah? This is the exact same error that we saw here. Yeah, here you have it, type error, init, got an unexpected keyword argument, init, ROS note, yeah? All right, excellent. So we are set up, we have the same error that the user is having. 
So we are ready to go. Okay, let's start uh, tracking this error now. So we can see here that uh, it comes from this shadow TC env uh, script, which is in the OpenAI ROS package. So let's come here, OpenAI ROS, OpenAI ROS. This is in SRC, OpenAI ROS, RobotEMS. Yeah, it's RobotEMS. And shadow TC env, which we have here. And line 172, yeah? So this is pretty specific. Let's come here, line 172. And here we have it. So basically the line that is giving the error is this one here, yeah? And this one here, what it's doing is to... It's creating an object of a class here, of this Smart Grasper class, which we might be importing somewhere. Smart... Yeah, here we have it, yeah? So here we are uh, importing this from the Smart Grasping Sandbox package, which this is in the simulation, so let's go back to the simulation. SRC, Shower Robot Smart Grasping, and now it's um, Smart Grasping Sandbox, yeah, there we go. And Smart Grasping Sandbox, SRC, I suppose, yeah, here we have it. So here we have the Smart Grasper, Smart Grasper script, yeah? So let's open it. And, all right, I, I already can see the error. So basically here, in the line 172, here, what we are doing is to call this function, this init. We are creating an object of this class, so we are calling this function, this init function. And we are passing this argument, this init ROS node, which is set to false, we are passing this argument to this function. But th th this function, so this init, the constructor of the class, this is the constructor, is not expecting this, this argument, as you can see. Yeah, this only has self, so it's not expecting any argument, and this is why it is crashing, yeah? So basically what we need to do here is to, I don't know why, this should have this argument uh, here set, but it's not, for some reason. So what we can do is to basically add it, yeah? So I'm going to add this argument here, self and init, let me put it here, all right, init ros node equals to, I'm going to set it to true by default, yeah, uh, so basically this, as you can see here as well, we need to tell it to not start a node, a ros node, in fact, yeah, so basically this uh, argument is to control if we want this class to start a node or not, which is done here. You can see here, the rospy init node is being started here, yeah? So with this argument, we are supposed to control this. So basically what we can do here is to add a very simple if init ros node is true, then we initiate the node. Else, so if it's set to false, we just pass and we don't initiate this node, yeah? So then now, if this argument is set to true, we will initiate the node. If it's set to false, like in this case here, that we are setting it to false, this is going to pass and it's not going to initiate the node, yeah? And this is because we are already initiating a ROS node somewhere in this pipeline, yeah? So, probably in the task environment, I'd say here, in the task environment of the shadow TC, learn to pick ball, probably somewhere here, no, not here, so then it must be in the, in the training script, in this script here, which we are starting here, so my shadow OpenAI example, let's see here, we are starting the, um, where I have it, here. My shadow TC OpenAI example, scripts, and here we have the start to learning v2, yeah? We can see this as well here in the, in the error. So shadow TC comes from the learn to pick ball script, which I have checked here. I already checked it and it doesn't contain a ROS node, so it must come still on a higher level. And the higher level is basically here, yeah? Start to learning v2.py. We can see it here. So in this start to learning v2, 
dot pi, probably here is where, yeah, here we have it. So here we are initiating a ROS node. And as you may already know, you cannot initiate two nodes. Yeah? If we are initiating a node, we cannot initiate an, an, another node in the same in the same process. Yeah? So we can just have one ROS node. So that's why we need to tell this class to not initiate this node. Yeah? Alright, so we can save this with the new argument. Let's save this and let's uh, run again. So, oh, oh no, no, yeah, I was running the command, I think. Yeah, so let's run again our command here. And let's see what happens now. So, now we have modified this so that the node is not started and that the smart Grasper class expects this init was node argument. So this should work properly. At least we shouldn't get that error now. So here we are starting the Gazebo simulation. So let me open one more time here the display so that we can visualize this. We can see here... Um, yeah. There we have our simulation. Let me make this bigger as well. All right, and here we have our first episode of the training. So this looks like it's working properly. Yeah, here it's starting to train, in fact, because we are seeing the different episodes happen here. Yeah, let me see. Yes, the trainings, the rewards. You can see here as well, you can see the actions, the rewards for the specific step. Yeah. Yeah, here we can see you can see the steps as well. So end the step seven, start the step eight, and the episodes, which also keep going. Not error, not error. Okay, the simulation and the simulation should be doing things now. So if we come, yeah, we can see here the simulation how it is training. It's moving. Sorry, I've moved this wrong. Let me come here so that I can visualize this properly. All right, yeah, so there we go. Here we can see the simulation, how it's going. It's trying different positions. Yeah, there we go. And let me come here. And here we have the different episodes who are being executed. And so basically, I suppose, I don't know very well this script, what it's doing, but I suppose that it's trying to learn how to pick the ball. Yeah, so it's trying different positions and it's uh, getting a reward for each one of them. Yeah, you can see the robot, the robot arm, they're moving and getting the reward for each one of the actions. Yeah, we can see that we are in the episode number five now. Yeah, you can see each step, each step is for each movement that it tries with each reward for each step. Yeah. So yeah, we have basically solved this error, so great. So I hope you've liked the video, you've learned something with it. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We are publishing cross-related content almost every day, so stay tuned. And also I want to tell you that next week, starting from Monday, we are going to start a week, a full week of free live classes because of this COVID situation. We want we want you to to stay home, but stay home learning and practicing ROS. So this is why we are going to be doing each day from Monday to Friday a live class for of two hours explaining ROS from zero. So from zero we are going to start doing some Python, some Linux, and then we are going to start doing some basic ROS of topics and we are going to end with a very nice project on Friday. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to, to participate in it. And yeah, that's all, that's all for this video and I hope to see you soon. So goodbye and keep pushing your Ross learning.